Broccoli has always been that divisive veggie where many can't agree upon if it's good or not. I used to be on the fence about broccoli myself until I started to prepare it my way. So, when you pair it with some juicy and delicious beef, magic happens. So, first things first. Let's get our beef sliced up nice and thin. If you want to make your life easier and have little trouble in making thin slices, pop it in the freezer for a bit beforehand. And while you can use any meat you fancy, there's just something timeless about beef and broccoli together. Don't you think? Now, onto the broccoli. We're chopping it into bite-sized florets to ensure they cook evenly and are easy to munch on. The broccoli stem itself is perfect for adding it to the tasty soup stock. So if you won't use it right away, toss it in the freezer for later. Let's prepare the sauce, which will bind the beef and broccoli together later. To a cup, add one teaspoon of sugar, 50 ml of warm water, one tablespoon mirin, three tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon sesame oil, crush two cloves of garlic and add it to the mix. Adding quarter of a teaspoon of grated ginger, pinch of black pepper, and one teaspoon of cornstarch. Mix everything well, so there are no more lumps from the starch left. Onto the stove. Heat up the pan on medium heat, and once hot, drizzle in one teaspoon of sesame oil. To it, add your broccoli frolets. Fry them off for about 30 seconds. Add in a splash of water, and cover the pan to steam the broccoli. This will make it retain its bright green color and retain its crunch. Cook it for about 3 to 4 minutes, depending how crunchy you like your broccoli. Make sure you mix it a few times so it doesn't burn. Move your broccoli from the pan to the bowl and let it rest for a while. To the same pan, add a splash of sesame oil and to it add your beef slices. Make sure the beef slices are not stuck together and are all in one layer. This will ensure even browning on all sides. Mix the beef around the pan to brown it nicely. This shouldn't take more than two minutes. Pour the sauce we prepared earlier over the beef and let it thicken up a bit. After, add in your broccoli and mix well. Once everything is evenly coated and the sauce has thickened, it's time to serve. I like to serve mine up with some fluffy white rice. But hey, feel free to be creative. You can use pasta, potatoes, gnocchi, whatever your heart desires. And there you have it, a mouth-watering beef and broccoli dish that'll have you reaching for seconds. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a broccoli fan or not, and what your favorite pairing is. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more delicious recipes. Until next time, bye bye!